Both boxers to stand to ring to receive the final instructions. Burjoy Datrishdan Charchadingsma. Odati Chagaralar Dan Chip Hamasunu Zgartrishnu Hochlaisma. Marafon Bet Site Gatut, Ovafatiat Sarhadam Tashang, Omadings Nusnap Kurin, Vahalabataman Husveti, Marafon Bet Blan Hyotings Dagi Yangi in Kyonyat Larni Kashveti. Staff coloring is no Shirishka, Baboshka, Dergia, Utska, Tayormas, Unda Happy P. Holubler, Dunyosiga, Hush Philipses, Marafon Bet, Bisblan Uinang, Vahalaba Kozoning. So what a contest we have in store as we take a final look at the tail of the tape. Saeed Jamshi Jaf, Jam Jafarov, two years older with a slight advantage in height. But interestingly, Talgat Sheikhan with a slightly longer reach. So we are underway then. This is eight three minute rounds in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division for the inaugural IBA Asian Championship. It's between boxers from the fiercely competitive neighboring Central Asian nations where boxing is at the forefront of their sporting successes. The man wearing the gold trunks trimmed with, the black trunks trimmed with gold in this all South poor affair. Just looking to establish that long, sharp shooting right jab to the body is Saeed Jamshi Jafarov, the two-time Asian continental champion in the three-round format. He's been taking consecutive titles in Dubai in 2021 and last year of 2022 in Amman in Jordan. Third edition of the Youth Olympic Games, still the most recent edition of the Youth Olympic Games after the ravages of COVID-19. Saw him come away with a silver medal particular youth olympiad using the gold medal contest to Ilya Popov of Russia. With a brief senior career turned professional. Brief senior amateur career, three round career, but turned professional soon thereafter with Saeed Jafi Jamfarov. Lands the left hand around the corner, followed by success downstairs. And this all South poor encounter. Already being boxed at a brisk pace. You see different tactics that both men bring into the ring. Shaken likes to get onto the front foot, bomb away with that backhand. And this is the posture that Saeed Jamshin Jafarov often finds himself in. He can be a very physical fighter. He's gone by the contest against Aslan Bakshin, but again off of Kazakhstan at the Hummel Arena last year was incredibly physical. And of course, when you add in the extra emotion that comes when these two neighboring nations face off in the boxing ring, Reduce all form and tactics. <laughs> the expectations to the periphery. What is he going to be tangible? The heart and desire. Who can keep their head? Bragging rights are plenty on the line. The time Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan face off in the squared circle of the boxing ring. Jamshid Farah just taking tumble to the canvas, closing seconds of the opening round. Good work to the body by Sheikhan. First round in the book. Very intense indeed. Some of the action from the first round. Wrist start by both boxers. Saeed Jafi Jamshar of jab to the body. is effective and eye catching. I'll get shaken with success. With arcing punches out of that South Force now. Seconds out. Второй round. 
So we're going to the second round, and just as he began the first, Saeed Jafi Jamshar off targeting the body with sharp shooting, straight punches. There he is with that stab jab downstairs once again. He got shaken, and he's disregarding that as he continues to go headhunting. This early investment in body shots could well slow down the attempted invariable front foot forays. Off shaken. Over that front foot and apply pressure out of that south paw stance. He too possesses a wonderful jab to the body. And the battle is jab downstairs. It hasn't been much of a battle because it's Jafarov that has been more effective. Incessant eye catching. Look at that for a bolo right hand out of the south paw stance to the body. Don't shake him. Right hook out of the style, full style, style, two solid jabs to the body as Saeed Jafi Jafarov looks to re re-establish the gap. Caught through left hand with a beautiful shot to the head. After the right hook went beneath the left elbow of Shane Kane. Shane Kane, that right jab upstairs. Beautiful right hook to the body once more from Saeed Jafi Jafarov. President to Mark Kremlov and Conor McGregor. resumption look whose head is being driven back Shay Ken trying to utilize the parry right hook to the body followed by a right uppercut through the middle to the head from Jafarov that's a beautiful right hook in response from Shay Ken closing 40 seconds of this second round so Shay Ken looking to get over that front foot he has success in the left cross the right hook not too far away during that trade-off. There's another left uppercut dug in from Jafarov. And an overhand left not too far away. Overhand movement from Shaykan just causing it to be a glancing block. And a to the body from Shaykan after making Jafarov miss. Got some ice evident in the black corner. Three, two, far off corner. It's the delay to begin the start of round number three. Reaching wonderfully and landing with that jab, particularly to the body. Oh, Shay Ken. Shay Ken continuing to faint on the edge of range, but you see he's bent forwards once again by taking another lead south pour right into his abdomen. Same shot once again and then turned over the top, followed by another double jab to the body. Big swing and a miss with the lead right hook by Shea Ken, who's not looking to set it up with his own right jab. And as mentioned, he too possesses a terrific lead right stick. We haven't seen much evidence of it thus far. Instead, it's the right jab of 
Tay Jamshi Jafarov, the 2023 reigning world championship silver medalist. There he turns it into a right hook to the body, followed by a left uppercut to the chin, and then reverses the combination. Left uppercut to the chin, right hand to the body, followed by a cracking left cross. And Saeed, Jaffi, ja Saeed Jamshi Jafarov, with a wonderful portion of the round, quality of the highest order, accurate, hard, precise punches. of this second round. Again, the first of the round produced about a minute and a half ago by Jafarov scored the best work of the round thus far. Punch out put a slowed from both boxes. Pulled through right hand. The sort once again by Jafarov. Landed by Targat Sheikhen to end the round. But a terrific burst of sustained quality produced by Saeed Jamshi Jafarov in the first half of the round. And to the fourth round we go. This one is scheduled for eight. Maybe a Asian Championship title. And coming out behind a solid jab now. His tail got shaken. We haven't seen that shot in evidence as much as we have witnessed in this fourth round. Lock applied by Shaken, looking to set up his power punches now behind his lead right stick for the first round of the con for the first time in this contest. That being the right jab to the body from Jafarov, that has been the eye catching shot, but then he did get to work. Double right hand, body and head, attacking left, cross over the top from Jafarov, who's appearing to be sharper here, found his range more immediately. Shaken. Trying to work his way into it, but look at that for a counter right hand, followed by a left cross, and then a right hand to the body from Jafarov. Long bridges his man by putting the heel of his glove into the face of Shaken, and he's had uh, the better of this coming together. Over a minute gone in this fourth round. Jafarov content to stay in the neutral corner. the table. Intervenes, separating the two, counter right hand not too far away. Another tangle ensues in this all south poor encounter. Good work to the body, hard left hand driven in by Shaken. The far off sinking down to the canvas as he often does. 
was, I don't think it was a knockdown, but again, if you take a trip to the canvas while the shot's landing, you run the risk of it being ruled a knockdown. And draping himself around the legs of Shaken once again. The tactic that kills the clock, forces the intervention of the referee, and then they'll be on punching range once again, see? on the canvas looking for that counter style pull left. Which is closer with that follow-up left cross which came behind the right jab. Good right hand driven into the body. And again you see the glove of Jafarov touching the canvas. A really risky strategy. Because again if anything other than the soles of the boxer's shoes are on the floor then it could be ruled a knockdown. Shot from Jafarov. Cross once again, not set up by the jab. So four rounds completed at the halfway stage in the battle for IBA Asian Championship title status. So into the second half of this IBA Asian Championship tilt we go. Jamshi Jafarov. Very well behind his lead right jab, particularly to the body, especially in the first three rounds. How about Shaken? It's always been competitive. Got more into it in round number four. Utilizing that right jab to the head. Almost exclusively to the body. Around one, two, and three. There he brings a left cross into play. Drops down with that lead right hand to the body once again. And he returns to the shot that has served him so well. It's followed by a left cross. Talgat shaken. And he's proven to be too stationary a target here. Can he increase his head movement? Can he quicken his foot movement? Because he's trying for single phase attacks here. He's trying a different look now. Hands down by his belt line. Despite pinning Jafarov to the ropes. Shaken, unable to capitalize. Jafarov closer with that left cross. And again, it's another tidy entanglement on the inside. We're on the halfway stage of this fifth round. Big swing and miss with the left cross. Fully committed to that was Jafarov. And again, more like a grapple fest at close range. So committed with the boxes to their initial attacks. And the same thing is ensued once again. Shafarov tying his man up. Forearm applied to the face from Shaken. Good right hand to the body from Jafarov. Shaken had success with a right hook upstairs. of jabs to shake him, fainting in an exaggerated fashion just on the edge of range trying to draw that lead that he can counter but he's picked off by a pulverizing left cross over the top from Jafar Jafarov and spins off to his left same shot once again wasn't too far away close range 
and the initial attack was inaccurate. Well, this contest becoming punctuated by increasing amounts of holding here now. The quality for the first three rounds was simply sensational. But now, the more we progress into the contest, the more mauling, grappling, wrestling we're seeing, we're seeing fewer cameos of the quality that characterized the contest in the first three rounds. Of course, the team becoming an increasing factor, and the added emotion comes with it being Derby in effect. Being outboxed in the first three rounds by Saeed Jamshid Jafarov. Of course, how do the judges see? Three rounds remaining in this IBA Asian Championship battle. A 71 kilogram light middleweight division. Patek Shaker has returned to three round boxing. A professional contest. of IBA boxing was back in 2022. It's made quite an impact. Three round circuit. As competitive as Kazakhstan. He prevailed. Jafar off scored with the right jab. Big swing and miss with a southpaw left and right turning the tables on quick footwork. A precise variety of Jafar and then a left cross success once again. And look at the concentration on the face of Jafar. There is put off by a southpaw backhand. Retreats back to center ring. Beautiful counter right jab after a big swing and miss with a lead right up in this one. And an attacking left cross off the ropes from Jafarov. Again, to return to the three round format and prevail in the national sport accord at 71 kilograms. Bearing in mind that Kazakhstan only qualified one male boxer for Paris 2024 after the Asian Games. Spanjabek Kokobayev. National sport accord. Good right hook to the body landed by Jafarov. For the national sport accord making it part of the selection criteria to determine who is going through to the final Olympic qualifier. 650 boxers have registered for that. We'll get confirmation as to which nations are sending which boxers closer to the time. But again, it's a wonderful accomplishment. And how about Shaken to return to the three-round format of IBA boxing and make such an impact his undefeated start to professional career. There's a left cross success once again from Saeed Jamshu Jafar. Shaykent tries to respond with a counter. <laughs> Mention the fact that his career in the senior ranks was brief and that's because it was Zipan Jusupov, the Olympian who was ahead of him. Yeah, Pat McCormack is a senior, using a split decision in the multi-nations tournament in Finland. Pat McCormack now going well with an undefeated professional prospect in his own right after that Olympic silver in Tokyo. And that's a cracking left cross once again. So the moments of quality, the moments of eye-catching punching coming from Saeed Jamshid Jafarov. Two rounds remaining. Well, for what it's worth, I've got Talgat, Talgat Shaken trailing in this contest. Scoring judges that at ringside, the 10 point must have been in effect.
Дамы и господа, у нас на очереди седьмой раунд. So we move into the penultimate round. In this 71 kilogram light middleweight affair between boxers from Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Shane Jafarov showing terrific IQ and ring generalship here because he's returning to the strategy. He served him so well in the first three rounds. Oh, that's a cracking right hand lander on the inside by Shaken. And listen to the increase in support from the home fans. Knowledgeable boxing fans in this part of the world, of course, and they recognize that Shaken had success at mid range, swiveling the head. Saeed Jamshid Jafarov can capitalize on it without being made to pay a heavy price. That's what the home fans would be hoping. Jafarov keeping his wits about it. Presenting a seemingly open target to the end. Another kick to the canvas, and the referee to wipe the gloves clean. behind his industry. And so it's rendering it ineffective. Good right hook to the body landed by Jafarov. And you cannot knock the, you can't knock the hustle being produced by Shaken. But remember, for aggression to be rewarded, it has to be effective aggression. And more often than not, if Shaken lands a good left hand to the body, his aggression has been nullified, neutralized, and spoiled. Stands and finds his target once again, from Jafarov. There's been no diminishment of desire in the work of Talgat Shaken. I'm just not sure if the 23 year old possesses the real craft. He's demonstrated it to this point to deal with the staccato explosive bursts of the reigning world championship silver medalist. Coming forward behind quick feet, stiff right there. Jafarov doing a good job of conning the referee here for my money. Maybe con is too strong a word, but he's, he's using a veteran's move of suggesting that he's not the one doing the holding, but it's he who initiated the clinch and was indeed doing the holding. Then when they're at the space to send to the ring, they land their left cross. And they're going with flaming punches to conclude the penultimate round. And I have to think that Targat Shaken requires a KO here now. Регистрируйся и подружайся в Универспорта на Бобле. Твоя первая ставка уже сострадована. Итак, дамы и господа, у нас с вами на очереди финальные трех минут. Восьмой раунд. So into the eighth and final round we go. Jafid, Jafarov, reaching for that right jab to the body once more. I think that. Targat Shaken needs a massive final round because he must be trailing on the scorecards. Been an effortful display by Shaken. Terrific success with the left hand in the previous round, and there he's looking for it once again, this time in the form of an overhand left out of that south course stance. <coughs> The remaining patient behind his lead right jab is Shaken as he looks to feint his way into range. Down to left hand from 
Jafar up, catch is shaken, Adi's coming in. But there you see he's been spoken to about the referee and the referee waving his right hand as if to say no more. But I think that admonishment could have been far earlier in coming. But there's a double right cross, right jab, left cross. From Jafar off, same combination once again. It's been a very clever display from Saeed Jafar. Jafarov. He's picked the spots in which he's going to produce the quality. And here you see, claims his man once more, forcing the intervention of the ref. Clock continues to tick, and remember, the clock is the friend of Jafarov. Ties his man up once again before showing, before showing the ref that it's not him doing the holding. Starting his quest for a place in the medal podium in the round of 64. Terrific run through to the gold medal bar before finishing off against Aslan Bek Shimbergenov. From one color in Kazakhstan at the Humo Arena. <laughs> Roundhouse left landed out of the south poor stance from Sheikhan. Jafarov looking for his own counter left once again. Final 30 seconds of the contest. Nice lead right hook landed by Jafarov. Nice right hand in response from Sheikhan. Sheikhan tucked up. The turtle behind high held gloves walked his way forward. Left hand counter two punch combination once again. Right hook, left cross. Saeed Jamshi Jafarov. IPA president, Mr. Mark Kremler. Final bell sound to conclude that eight round title tussle for the IBA Asian Championship. Now, for what it's worth, I have to think that Saeed Jamshi Jafarov has done enough to be declared the victor here, but how do the three scoring judges see it? Gone the eight round distance. This man's quality in the first few rounds was notable, particularly behind his right jab to the body. Rapier like left cross out of that southpaw stance on occasion as well, but he became more physical, more attritional the deeper we got into the contest. Beautiful beige IBA Asian Championship strap already up in the boxing ring. That will soon be in possession of the, fi of the victor. And I have to think it's the man in the other corner. How that shaken. Never stop pressing, never stop trying in pursuit of victory. I don't think enough sustained quality was produced. Declared as the new champion. knows just how much the boxers have given in pursuit of that beautiful beige strap. Words of encouragement in the direction of the boxers. They're just awaiting the arrival of the MC who will be in possession of the score total to bring us the official confirmation the conclusion of eight hard fought rounds in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division. Давайте аплодисментами. аплодисментами.
Поблагодарим боксеров. Они закачили интереснейший поединок сегодня. И этот поединок стал настоящим украшением ночи чемпионов IBA в Алматы. И пройдя всю дистанцию, после восьми раундов бокса, судейская бригада раздельным решением с результатом 79-73, 76-76 и 80-72 посчитала этот поединок в пользу победителя и чемпиона Азии по версии IBA в весовой категории до 71 килограмма, которым становится Шаи Чанши Чанпара. И здесь есть конфирмация о победе для Саид Джамшид Чанпара из Узбекистана. Он победил в конкурсе на первый раунд победы over Talgat Shaken. All smiles as he has that belt strapped around his waist by the IDA president of the Bar Kremlin. All smiles among his coaching camp as well. The new IBA and inaugural Asian champion in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division is Saeed Jamshid Jafarov prevailing. Really hard fought contest against Talgat Seiken of Kazakhstan. They can never stop competing, but this man's quality, particularly in the early stages, paying dividends. He was able to be declared as the victor. Losing of eight incredibly hard fought rounds. All of these images will be captured for posterity here at the Valuan Sholak Sports Palace in Almaty. Plenty of back and forth between Sheikhan and Jafarov across social media in the build up to the contest. Both men came in burning with ambition. But that shot in particular, the left cross over the top. Served Jafarov well. His movement was sharp around the clock face in the early stages. Credit to Shaken. Was always looking to respond and counter with something. And overall, for my money, the quality from that shot, the left hand and the right jab to the body. It was Shaken's best shot of the contest. The half hook, half uppercut from that southpaw left stance which completely disrupted the boxing stance of Jafarov. Jafarov ultimately getting the nod from the three scoring judge. And in doing so, he's been declared as the inaugural IBA Asian champion. There was the moment of confirmation concluding what had been a terrific night of action here. Nine bouts. Уважаемые дамы и господа, дорогие друзья, мы благодарим всех, кто сегодня был здесь на этой потрясающей ночи чемпионов IBA. Мы поздравляем всех спортсменов, которые сегодня оказались лучше своих соперников. Соперникам всего мы желаем удачи. А всем вам, дорогие друзья, спасибо.